Welcome back to Kenshi. My name is Tobol. We are outside of our old outpost, your outpost. And I feel like it's time to poke a bit at these raiders. They've been kind of parked outside this this base for, I don't know, I want to say like at least 20 days or so, 20 or 25 days or more. So they've been outside for quite a bit. Um, I might jump back to Boop, Beep, and Agnew. They're kind of tucked into a corner, hopefully not choking on a bunch of smog. Oh, wow. Is this the group? Hey, this is a pretty nice size raid. I wonder how fast our archers can melt them. All right. And do we want to do archers only, or do we want to just let everyone wade into melee? Yeah, we'll try the archers first, because it's a little bit fun to watch all the death fly. So, Laura, everyone follow Laura. We'll get everyone squared away here in just a second. I'm going to line them all up first. We have... Oh, we actually don't quite have great line of sight here. We'll have to move up a little bit more than I wanted. We're relatively close. We're only going to get a couple shots before they come charging out, I think. Unless they're super bugged. And if they're super bugged, well, I don't really care. Well, we're going to take advantage of it. Do we want to try that little archer ball again? That did seem to work okay last time. Let's give it a shot, shall we? After the 10-year reload. <laughs> oh, archer ball, you never cease to impress. I mean, really, at this point, I wonder if their aim is high enough that they can kind of all shoot over each other's shoulders and not have too much trouble. All right, we'll go ahead and turn ranged off. Oh, you know what? Not everyone from Unyielding came this way, so let's get everyone on passive together. Archers off to the side. There we go. All right, so we should be all set to go. Let's do... Hey, you know what? Let's do a couple more shots here. Aw, are they not going to be able to do it? All right, let's get the Unyielding in here. We'll, uh, we'll get stuck in a bit. Meanwhile, we'll let the archers... Oh my god. We'll let the archer squad mow down anyone that's coming their way. <laughs> I like that they're just kind of hanging out. Oh shit. That's going to result in some friendly fire. Let's take range off for just a bit. There we go. Uh, we might micro a couple more of these. Look at this little ball of melee here. Yeah, that's uh, not going to work out too well for you all. I'm just letting you know ahead of time. You picked the wrong base to mess with. Here, why don't we try to focus on these guys in particular so that we don't do too much friendly fire. Honestly, it's it's pretty much over at this point. Right on. Well done. Never did really take down the space, and I don't know, it didn't cause us a ton of problems. I thought it was one of those things that was causing an issue with our raid from the Wrath of God. But it didn't wind up hurting too bad. Let's check on Beep and Boop and all them real quick. Just before too long, I want to make sure they're nice and tucked into a corner here. Uh, why are you not stealthing? There we go. So not the safest spot in the world, but unfortunately there's not a whole lot of buildings I could just let them hang out in. My biggest fear, of course, is one of these stupid clouds that come by. Beep is really injured already because he took another shot um, to the chest in the, in the middle of a fight when we were running through a group. So he's uh, not going to have as much stealth as I'd like him to. All right, you guys have pretty much wiped this uh, group out. How are our archers doing in terms of arrows? Oh yeah, we're still super loaded. We're still super loaded. Uh, some of the other, the original four, do have a lot more stacks of arrows in their inventory. So, we can split those out if need be. Alright, everyone reconvene. Let us march forth into the great unknown. Or kind of known. Uh, let's have them head on down, I guess, to Last Stand, which I think is a Shek. It's a Shek village that we are relatively friendly with, right? Pretty sure. Let's grab hand, too. I don't know that why that didn't quite work out. Alright, let's go try this one more time. You go here. There we go. Uh, let's see what the turret squad's up to. We've got a bit of a fight up north, I guess. Or is it already over with? Yeah, it's pretty much already over with. Uh, why don't we do... Man, it's really, really laggy up here right now, too. I don't know if you guys can see that with the recording, but it is, um... It's super struggle bus. Wait a minute, what the hell? Who is... Alright, I have many questions. What is going on here? Holy shit! Well, I mean... I guess none of them are shooting each other, per se. Well, that's a plus that we normally don't see. <laughs> wow! 
You're having a rough time, Pincushion. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, well, that's... that's That sucks for you. Um, well, that was crazy resistance, though. They was getting, like, one or two damage per hit. This is just a random Inquisitor? Is that it? He's lost his arm and a leg, so I don't think he's going to be much threat to us. Do we have any more bodies that are just lying around waiting to wake up and poke us? Not really. Uh, all of our animals are still in good shape. Do we have food for you all? Uh-oh. Are we out of food completely? If we are, we're going to have to do a bit of a hunting trip. Oh, we are. Are you guys starving yet? No, not quite. Um, who can actually go do some hunting? Why don't we... Hmm. It would be nice if Leviathan's dropped a crap ton of food, right? I mean, you'd think you'd be able to eat from one Leviathan for, like, months on end. We could try to have one of our one of our teams uh, come over and pull a group of Guru to the gate, I suppose. That's one way to get a bit, a bit of food. Do we have any dead Guru outside the gate? I should check. Not quite. Yeah, I don't see anything right outside the base either. I'll tell you what, the animals aren't quite starving yet, so I'll probably do that off-camera in the next episode between here um, uh, or the end of this episode and next. Uh, although, it would be kind of nice if we could, like, ping these guys, but I'm a little bit nervous about doing that and then everyone starts shooting each other. Is this freaking Inquisitor back up? No, what are you guys shooting at? I don't know. Let's see if you guys can shoot this one right here. That's pretty crappy aim, to be honest. <laughs> no one here that opened up was able to, to pop that guy, that guru. All right, fair enough. Uh, let's see, Tobol's aggroed from what? I'm not quite sure yet. So these folks are going to head over to the southwest. We're going to see if we can't get anything from the great Bugmaster, who's somewhere in this general vicinity. Maybe, you know what, it's not too far to swing from here down to where our friend at Fish Isle is. And then maybe we'll come home... And we'll restock for the big push on Catlon. And by rest and on the way home, maybe we can find someone else to pick up. I will also probably start having Beep and Boop and Agnew come home after this next evening. Because this last evening, I'm going to check out Ashland Dome number four, which is right a little bit to the north of us. And we're going to see if there's still any goodies that we need to get from there. Oh, hey, finally, I get to see one. So here is a cleanser unit. That'd be kind of fun to fight. I wonder how much resistance it has. What in the world? What are you even made up of? Like, I, I think Lo-Fi was like, what do we want to do for the head? Now I just slap a giant piece of metal down. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> I don't know what it cleanses, but I'm sure it does a great job of it. So it's about 1,500 hours. Uh, we've got a couple more hours until nightfall. So I suppose Beep and them will hang out. Um, Crow T and company will still head southwest. I guess I'll go ahead and speed things up so you all don't have to sit around and wait for nothing. But we'll uh, meet you back here as soon as we're either to the Bugmaster or into the evening. The sun's getting real low and it's almost time to Beep to go exploring. Let's wait until his sun icon gets down a bit. And then I think we'll send him in, see if we've got any more AI cores, and from there, we'll probably have everyone go ahead and bug on out and get back to, um... I guess we could just have Beep, Agnew, and Boop meet up with the main squad at this point. They're not going to be in too bad a shape for that. Um, some people getting poked about. Did we ever give Mew a... We never gave Mew a replacement limb yet? Whoops. No, I'm sure she's doing a great job. Honestly, I don't really think you should be fighting, though. There's probably a paladin who's um, up and about inside the base. At least they're far enough away. It seems like the turret guards aren't sitting there and opening up on each other. Huge plus from the normal. All right, let's see if we can sneak beak in uh, beak. He's now beak instead of beep. All right, so what do we have in here that we've not opened? There's one chest down below. Probably two, right? Because there's always these two down there. All right. Anything up on the second level? Mm, yeah. Ooh, is this place we've never touched? This could be fun. We were upstairs, it looks like. So all of these have been unlocked, but the one on the second floor has not. So, great. Uh, let's pull B back out until night doth cometh.
It's been an exciting ga- uh, week for games, honestly. We had a couple of announcements. We had, of course, Kenshi 2 uh, announced earlier. We also had Vampire the Masquerade 2. Now, I never really got into that, but I've kind of gotten more into for, like the D&D, the tabletop aspect of it. So I'm excited to see what a modern take on Vampire will be. Unfortunately, I had a couple other things that have pushed out. I've been particularly paying attention to uh, Ready or Not, which is kind of a tactical SWAT. It's almost like SWAT 4, but um, same the same general idea. It's a spiritual successor, I would say. So I'm looking forward to that personally, but I think that got pushed until next year after their trailer came out. So that's due in like Q4 2020. So that's kind of rough. But I'll deal. I'll overcome because we'll have tons of other games out there. Alright, we'll focus, Beep. No more game talk, Beep. He should be relatively invincible, right? Invisible? It's kind of like invincible and invisible at the same time. There we go. I like how they just swap jobs. Like, okay, you take over now. I'm tired. But I'm a skeleton. Beep, what the hell, man? 90% lockpick chance my ass. Hey, nice! Yet another AI core. I think we're all we need is one more AI core and we've got our first heavy or or strong legs or arms, whatever we want to have. Let's come on downstairs here. And we're going to try to have him pick probably this one in the middle since there's, I mean, honestly, unless he gets stuck and someone's just right in his face, he should be able to loot all of these just fine. Uh, holy crap, there's a lot of stuff in this one. Holy cow, seven eight, uh, CPU units. We'll come back to that if we've got the space. Let's try to get this safe done real quick. Uh, this one too? Yeah, so here and here. We'll try to finish these up. Beep, my friend. You're disappointing me with your uh, lock picking, buddy. Okay, nothing in this chest. And finally, this smaller chest over here. I don't know if, this, if these even have them. I, I think the smaller ones do. I feel like we've had this conversation before. Uh, but sadly, this time, no. So we've, uh, we're have we going to come out of here. Oh, there's one more. We're going to come out of here with one shy at the moment. Ooh, who spots you right now? Uh, okay, you're good. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we have enough AI cores at this point for the research of... Now, we could either focus all arms and all legs, or we could do skeleton arms, skeleton legs, and then one more step up. So high, you know, extra durable legs or durable arms, or something like that. So, we'll have to make that decision a bit later on. Do we have anything else that we need to loot? Let's check the smaller boxes, just in case. Let's go back to this safe and grab a couple more things, since they're, I mean, they're just kind of sitting here, worth a lot of money. So, he doesn't really get heavy uh, weighed down too much anyways. But the AI cores are about 6k a pop, so we'll grab some of those. I don't honestly know if, if we even need research books anymore these days. I think we've pretty much used everything... We possibly could from the research book. Uh, we looted this and this. What about all the way upstairs? Let's go all the way upstairs in case we miss something. Or were we here this last episode, maybe? I think we might have been. Yeah, I, I remember that pole arm. And I think we got an AI core out of that. All right, well, mission accomplished for Beep and company. This is exactly what we wanted. We wanted to get enough cores and other interesting items for us to continue our research and we have it so let's start sending beep boop and agnew west over past the skin house into the next zone i'm gonna hop back to the unyielding real quick to see what everyone's up to here all right are we all together cool let's go ahead and continue pushing on i think i'll take the approach from this side and we'll just come straight down instead of because i think this is a lake and if you swim through that, there's a chance that the speeders will uh, come nab you and, and nom on your faces. So, for the uh, rest of this little section, I'm going to go ahead and speed things up a bit, but I'm going to get Beep, Boop, and company out of here so I don't have to keep micromanaging their every move because it is dangerous with this smog around. So we'll get them out of this zone, and then I'll send them on a run towards our main squad. So they'll try to connect up. Uh, alternatively... What we could do is give everything to Agnew and have Agnew head home. And then Beep and Boop will meet up with the main squad. And in fact, that might be the best option. That way, Agnew gets some athletics built up. Beep and Boop get to add their combat prowess to the main squad. And we can continue with our research. So that's what we'll probably do once everyone gets nice and safe away. All right, I'll be back here in just a bit. Okay, the main group is back together. I've got Beep and Boop on their way to come join everyone, and we've got Agnew heading back home. So we're going to get everyone up to the tower. 
as quick as we can. Do you remember when we used to, like, we used to be petrified of these spiders? I completely remember those days. Like, we were out of our mind with fear when uh, we encountered those guys. And nowadays, it's just like, eh, spider bros, being spider bros, doing whatever spider bros want to do. It's so crazy how the game can change. Oh, shit. Okay, well, then, <laughs> that's still maybe more than I'd like. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it's fine. It's fine. They are really one-shottable, though. That's a uh, pretty low limb limits. I'm basically keeping beep and boop in my selection and just keep... I keep giving more move orders. So eventually they should, in theory, get over to see us. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. All right, where are we in relation to our fancy tower? So we need to go over there to that tower. All right, now the problem I recall is that it's kind of hard to get through all the patrols to get to the tower itself. So we need to make sure that we don't, number one, grab a bunch of friends. Real quick, I'm going to head over to Boop and make sure that he's not getting uh, murderated by anything. Unknown object. Where are we at? Where did we see the unknown object at? Was that over by our main group? Okay, this is just a random outpost. Who's chasing you? Um... Oh, I'll tell you what. Let's have Beep and Boop go as fast as they can. There we go. That should fix up the speed issue there. Oh, Boop got tagged. Oh, Beep got tagged. Probably from running slow because they were matching speed with our main squad here. Okay. Cool beans. Everyone's all together again. We'll give them an order. Wait, who's hungry? Do we? Oh, shit. Do we run out of food? Hang on a second. <laughs> We've been out and about so long, I've, I've kind of completely forgotten about food. Does Doc have anything left? No. I don't think we even have food at our old base, either. That's not really a big deal. We can go back to... Uh, we should be able to go back to, like, a city and just buy up a bunch of food at this point. But we'll take care of that as soon as we can. Alright. So, our outpost is behind us. Uh, there are a crap ton of spiderlings around. So, how do we want to do this? Where's the entrance? The entrance is right here. <laughs> right where all the spider friends are. Do we want to try to hit them a couple times with archer groups, or do we think that we can maybe just swing, sneeze, uh, sneak by them? I mean, if they patrol one particular direction, we possibly could. Let's try to come around the back here. Get ourselves in this spot. Wait, who's being chased? Oh, Agnew. Okay, are you still running? Okay. As long as you've got your move order, buddy, I'm happy. Alright, you're all right here. If, the, if they split off, I think we can just run up. Although, we wouldn't be able to use our archers to the extent that we, you know, it would be nice to use them for. Let's go ahead and try to take out a couple at a time, and we'll see what happens here. Guys, you're killing me here. It's right in front of you. I believe in the power of arrows. What the hell? Wait, is he still up? What the hell is the KO point? Negative 35? Wait a minute, am I missing something here? Oh, we haven't hit a critical, we just hit the limbs. Fair enough. All right, he went down. Let's do this. Let's keep the archer squad in front of us. And we'll try to, like, a moving clear kind of a thing. We'll, ha we'll have them come up to a spot. I don't really want them to go aggro unless they're being chased. All right, let's have the archers... Uh, let's see, range, no. Let's have them stay at the base of the tower. I don't even know how I want to do this. I probably should have done a little bit more recon. Oh, sorry, that's not even the tower. Over here is the tower. All right, here we go. So we've got the, the we've got the uh, walkway here. Let's get the main squad upstairs. I have no idea how we're going to perform, to be honest with you. I don't know what our armor is compared to what their damage is, so I guess we'll find out. We don't have a ton of room. I wish you could make them reload manually. Like, if they, if they stood still for a bit, they would just kind of reload on their own. Oh shit, a bunch of blood spiders. Let's pull them back a bit, and we'll have the... We'll have our... Uh, our main folks go and take care of that. Oh, we're about to get in a fight. Alright, let's get everybody stuck in a bit. Alright, let's get our archers to protect our rear, basically, is what I'll do. And I'll keep them uh, micromanaged for the moment. Alright, let's get everybody together, everybody together. Okay. Can we do an attack all kind of a thing here? And we're just going to get them as they come out? Oh, that's really great damage. Okay, cool. That's what we want to see. We'll keep killing them as they come out, I guess is fine. If it's if it's small groups like this, I'd be pretty happy. I don't like the level of damage they're doing, but that's not the worst in the world. I don't remember how many are inside, to be honest. Oh shit. Well, we just found it. Good job, Kiff. 
Um, I'll tell you what, can we do something like this? Can we have our archers come line up here? Let's have the main group pull off to the side. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. They're not all coming up, are they? Can we have them, uh, while we're doing this, can we have our archers go ahead and just open up on the main group inside? Shit, you know what? Horrible idea. Horrible idea. Oh god, please tell me they're not all coming home, are they? That's gonna be so ugly. <laughs> it's gonna be so ugly. Alright, let's try to get them on the stairs. Meanwhile, everyone else is fighting here. Uh, attack all. We'll just let the main squad fight. Please kill him, please kill him, please kill it. Oh god, it's fucking terrifying. It's terrifying to look at. I don't like it. <laughs> Alright, cool. We got one. Uh, there's one right in front of us, too. He's down. Alright, let's move everybody up a little bit. I want to get away from the base of the stairs. I really don't want that to be a thing. Oh, it's already almost over upstairs. Okay, let's take ranged off. Let's get everybody downstairs, or up here. The melee group is taking care of everything here. Nice job. Okay, that's cool. There we go. Alright, next up is... Where... Now, let's see. Upstairs? Oh. Is that it? Okay, well, that's fine. So, let's grab our friend here. Uh... I tell you what, let's bring everybody upstairs, and we'll bring the archers up over here. And we'll see if we can't pepper this guy down. Or do we want to do, like, an honorable one-on-one? -on -one? If Beep were here, it'd be nice. Do you have... Any, you know, you don't really have reinforcements. Okay, he's gonna come over. Let's see if we can't just get a shot on him, just for fun. We'll see how much damage we can do. Oh, come on, guys. Half of them didn't do range on that one. Okay, let's not do that. Alright, let's, um... Holy shit, hang on a second. Let's split split some people up. Uh, let's see. Crow, T, who's really healthy right now? Kiff. I want you to block only on this guy. Come on, Kiff, where'd you go? Alright, Milkman and Kiff. Why don't you guys block on this dude for just a second? Everyone else, let's work on getting his little spider friend dead. Jackson, you can join along here. Okay, that's not working out at all. Let's go ahead and go aggro. And you know what? Kiff and Jackson, you're going to be our um, our dummies here for a second. No, no, no. Everyone else, pull all the way back over here. Go passive. All the archers do an archer ball. And let's go ahead and see if we can't pepper this dude with some arrows. While everyone else holds him off. How bad did Milkman go down? Did he lose a limb? No, that wasn't too terrible. All right. Um, Goalies is trying to help out. Whoa, everyone's on medic right now. Let's can we just calm down on the medic job? Yikes, Dadu's down over there too? Where's Dadu at? Uh Dadu is dying. Let's see if we've got a we do have one skeleton kit on him. Isn't Crow T helping out? No, okay, let's have Crow T loot Dadu. Oh cool. Uh we got him guys. He just went down from a arrow to the face. So that's great. Let's go ahead and do uh jobs on everyone. And let's have Crow T stop the damage on Dadu. Kiff, go ahead and loot this dude. And there we go. We have a Mi Tao Foreign Saber. Awesome. Who has anyone have any sca uh, Saber skill? Scaber skill? Does anyone have Saber skill? Let's take a look. Stats. Uh, not particularly. 30 on a couple folks. Wing had 30. You know what? Let's give it to Wing. I feel like Wing has earned his rightful place. Wait, do we see he already have one? <laughs> no, okay. Let's give Wing a Mitao Saber. Because why not? And we'll pick up the extra from... Oh, shit. <laughs> no one has any room in it. Doc, does your backpack take this? Yes. Okay, cool. Nice! Alright, well, that was our first big boss fight. Oh, my god. Um... <laughs> so... I might have neglected to... Uh, pay attention here. Oh, this is going to be ugly as shit. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Here's what we're going to do. Everyone's going to go upstairs. Doesn't there just a bunch of teeth in here or something? Oh, that's gross. That's super gross. I don't even want to look at that. That makes me, like, shiver. Okay. Let's get the archers uh, pushed up right about... I don't know. Can we have them on the stairwell, like, right here? Uh, we'll get... Let's get some bodies to pick some people up. So, Tobol, grab Milkman. Uh, Kiff, since you're right here, grab Dadu, if I can pick him up. Shit. Oh, he's rebooting. He's not dead, dead. Are we out of robot repair kits? Because that's not going to be great. No, okay, we're not. So, Crow T, why don't, uh, let's see, you stick over here. Kiff, co grab Dadu. Everyone take your jobs off and go passive. 
Auto save, yes, fine, fair enough. Let's have the archers go ahead and start opening up on his, uh, as soon as the spiders come around the corner. Try to get these guys out of the kill box. We're basically just going to have to hole up in a corner and I think just do some def defending here for a bit. Uh, let's put them down. Alright, that's good enough. We're going to have to let Crow T come off to the side. Everyone else is going to have to come in here and jump in. Um, beep and boop, we want to give you the run over to here. Let's get everybody else in front of the archers to protect them. And yeah, that's all we can pretty much do. Oh crap, I didn't mean to change the, change the screen over. Are you guys still running, by the way? I haven't really paid attention to them too much. Okay, fair enough. Um, so Dadu's getting taken care of real quick before Crow T goes into battle. Everyone else is going to go fight. So, attack all. Beep and boop, get their run order refreshed. Crow T, however, is going to actually repair Dadu to make sure he doesn't die. Alright, does that sound good? Let's get everybody else up. Oh, shit. Um, not super great. Not super great. Let's get the archers completely out of the fight. If we can, I don't want them to be too screwed here. They aren't all that great at melee, and I don't want them to get completely slaughtered. Uh, Crumble John is getting just destroyed over here by himself. Oh, it's a hot mess, you guys. I don't know how this is going to work out. Man, do I want those quick reloading sh uh, crossbows right now. I'm just going to worry about microwaving the archers for a bit. In fact, why don't we try to stretch them out across the room here? That way, at least if somebody's attacking one, we can kind of all focus down one enemy as they're uh, separate. Okay, that was good. Let's get this guy who's... Let's do the ball again, actually. Let's go ahead and try to clear the archers out from top down. If there's any archers alive, they should be able to heal up whoever is not... Or whoever's getting injured. By the way, does anyone still have a block order on? I gave a couple people a block order. Okay, Milkman had one, but he's down anyways. The main group is still, um, is still conscious here. Don't quite know how yet. Doing pretty well. Alright, archers, are you still shooting something? Can we can we do a little bit of help with goalies, please? So there's so many numbers, I'm having trouble focusing on which one's upstairs and which one's down. Alright, we'll use the archer ball to our effect. And we'll completely miss all our shots in this one particular guy. Wonderful. Um, oh, nice. We're actually clearing out the building pretty well. Let's bring the archers downstairs. Let's take ranged off the archers. Good enough. Um, the rest of the group, are we all in better shape? Are we okay? I think we're doing okay, guys. I don't know if there's still more that's going to be coming, but... Maybe that's the thing. Maybe the uh, when the Bugmaster dies, he calls out and tries to get everyone to come back to him. Alright, let's bring everyone together. Is So Ace is down with a head injury. Milkman was still down and Dadu. Okay, did Crow T run out of this repair kit? He did. Do we have any other repair kits? The downside is, I think right now, Crow T has a pretty severe head wound. Oh! Oh, Boop's got it. Where the hell's Boop and Beep at, comparatively? Let me give you guys a run order. Let me check out where you guys are at. Can I see it from the dots only? You guys are like a thousand miles away, aren't you? I just saw them over here somewhere, I think. Okay, so they're still a ways away. We do have a city relatively close by. It's slowly getting worse. It really depends on how slow is slowly here. Honestly. Alright, so let's go ahead and have some people pick other folks up. So we got the Bugmaster down. That's a pretty fun accomplishment. I don't think that was anything we could have done anytime relatively uh, earlier in the game. Let's get Kif, Jackson, and Tobel to pick up uh, Dadu, Ace, and Milkman. All of the archers are still in good shape. Do we still have uh, bolts right now? Are we doing okay on ammo? Yeah, we're still good on ammo. Excellent. Meanwhile, are we all... What are we all doing here? We're all kind of flopping around. Obviously, Dadu's the one that's hurt the most. Everyone else should be medic up. Which, it looks like that's the case. Okay. So, I believe we should be able to get the hell out of here. There's a couple more, like, squads here and there, it looks like, of spiders. But for the most part, I believe we're in a pretty good spot. Uh, where do we want to go? I guess we could go for Drifter's Last. That might be the best step. We can go to Drifter's Last, we can heal up a bit, and then we can spend the nest, uh, rest of the episode running towards Island Lab, and maybe we'll hit up our fish friend at the end of, uh, or, uh, sorry, in, in the next episode. I'm really just, I really am worried about Crow T, or Dadu's head. So, let's get everyone to finish off the bugs in here. Come on, guys. Alright, let's group up here. 
We'll have the melee folks come downstairs and clean up the downstairs area a bit. <laughs> Tubble just dropped with Dadu. Let's bring the archers down and see if they can't help clear off the railing. Let's give them ranged order. Let's have them go out the back door. Out to the side. And just start clearing these... Oh, shit. They're all in a ball. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. They got split up a bit. Okay. The archers are... Or the melee group's coming in to help us out. We'll just keep kiting them a bit. We'll help out where we can. I just always get really worried about uh, that friendly, friendly fire. Where are these bug stupid things coming from? They should be all be dead by now. Oh my god, the reload time is brutal. Stone's about to go down. Ugh. That reload time makes me cry. Let's go ahead and give them off the hold order. And I guess I'll just let them go fight manually. Manually? Melee. Beep. Oh shit. Beep. Oh shit. What happened to Beep? Beep, why? Uh, Beep has gone down at some point from the... Oh no, the fellow Hivers. What a bunch of jerks. Let's see if we can get Boop around to... And Boop's actually really close to Beep. That shouldn't be too big of a deal. So we'll have Boop come take care of Beep. He's not in too bad a shape. I don't know how he got triggered there. Beep runs like the wind. So my only thought process is that he got bugged out a bit. And um, he just stopped running, as, as Kenshi tends to do. We really just need to get everyone together. And whoever can't keep up with us, we need to split them off. All right, let's do a couple things. Let's put Beep and Boop in their own squad, so I don't keep giving them mixed run orders. Let's get all of the main squad together. Are we still fighting, or what? what the, what's the going on here? We've killed everything in the history of everything. Can we finish them off, please? You know what? Our, having the archers melee is not a great idea. Passive, hold, get the hell upstairs. Laura just went down, of course. Or is she just injured? No, she's okay. All right, everyone get together here. The game is really, uh, really slow right now. I'm having a lot of trouble. Like, it's it's taken a couple seconds for anything to happen. So it's definitely trying to think through all the problems we're having. Okay, so let's quickly do a medic run. Everybody heal everybody up. Um, was anyone else down here? Ace is on someone's back, is that correct? Ace is being carried. Milkman is being carried as well. Archers are all together. Okay, so everyone's here. We've got the Metal Blade. Uh, let's go ahead and give ourselves a run order to GTFO. Maybe we'll hole up in one of these um, these armory buildings or lost libraries or something. Let's give everyone a run over over here, see if they can take it. All right, there we go. All right, so the main squad is off. Let's go ahead and put them back on this setting. Uh, meanwhile, let's go watch Beep and make sure he doesn't get killed by everyone else. In fact, he is getting attacked by the same enemies, I think. Is it just one of them? Nope, it's the whole, the whole group. Let's have him pick Beep up real quick. Shit, 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 shit. All right. No, 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 no. Come on, dude. Run. Oh, my God. The stun lock is real. All right. So let's get him up a bit away from the rest of the group. I can't. I don't need this stress right now, Kenshi. I have enough stress without you. Shit, these fuckers are fast. I don't really think there's enough time to pick him up. We'll try to do a run-by pickup here. Alright, he got him. Cool. Uh, how bad is Beep? He... mostly just his leg. Hey, we could just let him bleed out, guys, and he would lose his legs. <laughs> That's what we always wanted to do. Alright, let's give Boop an order to run to... Oh my god! <laughs> let's give Beep an order to run to, uh, Katoon. Thankfully, he's only got his, um... His arms injured so far, not his legs. God, these guys are quick. I mean, yeah, they're hivers too, but I mean, they're like, they're almost like beep level of, of speed here. All right, so Boop is on his way escaping. He is getting slowly worse in the chest and uh, arm, but that should be okay. Beep is getting a little bad on the leg. So we'll try to get away from these guys and break aggro first, and then we'll go ahead and do a little bit of uh, healing. Yeah, Dadu and Crow T both are a little bit injured. Does this get healed naturally on its own? No, it's still getting worse. How's everyone else doing? You know, for attacking the Bugmaster on his throne, that's not too bad. Two injured, one skeleton, quasi down. That's not too bad at all. I'm pretty happy with that result. What a mess, trying to navigate out of this place. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> the load time is real. <laughs> Kenshi's like, I don't know what you did, but I didn't like it. All right, we still have everyone in tow. Let's. Tr I guess we'll try to do smaller commands, smaller run orders, because they're all... I really don't want them all splitting up and getting super screwed. In fact, just like they're doing. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's focus on this group. I think Boop still has the move order to head over to whatever hell town that was, Katoon. We'll reinforce that run order for Boop. He's still running along with Beep. Uh, they're going to be okay, I think. It's, they should be fine. I will stop and heal Beep up here in a bit. I want to go this way. Would you let me go? No, you would split the party because that's what you do. All right. Holy shit. Come on, guys. No, 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 no. This game hates me. Could be my emote. Like, as some people have on Twitch or YouTube, they've got, like, a, a certain phrase they say when something, uh, you know, when a sub happens or a follow happens. Mine can just be, no, 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 no. That's what I say the most. All right. Everyone is one piece here, it looks like, I think, except for Maul, because he's doing his own thing. Oh, my God, that was not a smart move. Do we want to power through it and just say, whatever? Oh, I guess so. <laughs> uh, can you all imagine, like, I don't really know how more of our friends have not died here. Let's be real. <laughs> With some of my decision-making skills have not been the best, especially when I'm running on speed three. All right, let's keep trying to push south. All I'm trying to do is get to this armory ruin to stick some people inside for a minute. Let's uh, flip back over to Boop real quick and see if we can't stop for a second and do a little bit of healing. I'll tell you what I'll do is I will go ahead and get everyone into a safe spot. And I'll, uh, I'll just fast forward a bit, because from here on out, it looks like we're relatively safe. So, Boop is going to heal Beep up. We'll get Boop and Beep over to a city, get them healed up for a bit. Agnew is still making his way up north. The rest of the group is trying to head southeast. We are trying to aim for, eventually, we're going to aim for um, Drifter's Last. And in fact, I might follow this uh, river valley, even though I think that's kind of... Uh, Beak Thing territory. I think at this these uh, at this day and age, we can probably wreck Beak Things pretty hardcore. So yeah, I'll fast forward a bit, and we'll talk about what we're going to do in the next episode. So I somehow missed it, but Boop just almost got eaten alive by a Beak Thing, apparently. And uh, yeah, he's still not in great shape, so let's try to have him jump in and out. We're going to have to do, oh, we're going to have to do a little bit of uh, micro-movement management, if you will. This is going to be super, super ugly, because Beep is not, or Boop's not already in his in his best state. Um, I, I, I wound up trying to organize my other folks to run around, and I look around, I look over to the other tab, and sure enough, it says Beep is being eaten alive. So I'm like, well, that's great. That's wonderful. Uh, let's see if we can't order everyone. Oh, damn it. That's not even enclosed, is it? Is it safe-ish? Are we going to die here? There's Maw. I don't see anything moving. Let's go ahead and put... What about this library across the way? Is that at least enclosed, maybe? Let's give everyone a run command to go to the library first. Erg. I just want uh, our, uh, this one group to, to worry about that for a second, because I have to micro two groups at this point. Okay, we're going to have to do the standard old make the thing aggro and then jump away. Now, I wouldn't mind trying to fight him, and it looks like Boop successfully fought another big thing earlier. But I don't want to do it when there's no one else close by. I really want to make sure that at least Beep can be uh, brought back to safety. Hang on, actually. Uh, it's slowly getting worse. If we can bandage Beep for, like, a split second, we might be able to have him heal up enough to get back up again. <laughs> uh, I'd say got to. Ah. Alright, let's do another heal beep. Uh, we can't. We have to do it through the medic order, I think. Damn it. <laughs> oh, this is fun. We're almost at Katoon. I'm not too super worried about it, to be honest. I should just focus on getting them there. I think I've been... Have, is Katoon the one that's under all the... No, I think that might be... Morn? One of them is uh, kind of under a bunch of stuff. Um, like... Kind of under a, a, a bunch of debris or something like that. And I feel like that's where we got another Beak Thing fight once. Alright, are we all still together here? Oh god, please don't run into a Beak Thing nest. Where's this magical lost library? Okay, so it does have... 
Yeah, it does have buildings. Oh god, watch there be a bunch of stuff in it. Let's give them an order to run to the door. Hold the door! Do we lose the big thing? No, they're right there behind me. Alright, Boop, you're like three feet away. You got this. You've got this. No problems whatsoever. It's only the hero of our land. Wait, this is, uh, Katoon. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh... What could possibly go wrong? We'll do it. I like. I do like that you can kind of fake them out sometimes. That's that's one of the saving graces of going anywhere dangerous. Is that there's a possibility if you micro it, uh, you can survive. So, thanks for that. <laughs> thanks for that, developers. Much appreciated. All right. So Katoon is up on a hill. That's right. There was some other city that we went to once that was kind of like a bunch of... It was in the middle of a bunch of shipping debris. Uh, or old pieces of a, a ship or something like that. <laughs> I like how they're attacking in unison, too. It's, it's quite it's quite beautiful. <laughs> um, Agnew's getting chased by something. He's still running, though, so I think he's still heading up north. He'll be quite a ways uh, a while until we get all those research goodies over to our base, though. He is a slow, slow friend. Oh God, did I bring us up the wrong side of the city? Okay, there's the gate over here. We're almost there, Boop. Just a few more seconds, my friend. You've got this. I believe in you. Beep believes in you. All of us believe in you. Hey, is Boop, un is he's about to be conscious again, right? Not that it matters at this point. All right, don't stop. <laughs> okay, you know what? Now you can fight somebody. Okay, maybe not. Let's wait till they actually aggro. <laughs> go on through. Alright, we'll put Beep down here and we'll go we'll go get a little bit of revenge on these dudes. Nice. His damage is outstanding. I am super impressed by martial arts damage. It is ridiculous. Especially the speed with which you can make your attacks. Because sometimes you can like right there, you can do three attacks in one, uh, things like that. I think it'd be really, really fun. To grind up a squad of martial artists. Super fun. Palm heel strike to the back of the leg. Whatever the hell that was. Come on, flying knee. Finish him off with a flying knee, buddy. You got this. Yes! <laughs> you did! Almost. Alright, let's grab... Um, let's grab Beep and bring him inside. Oh, shit. <laughs> Beep is critical. I didn't quite catch that part. He's fine. Alright, so they're going to get taken care of. Uh, Agnew is getting chased. Let's check on Agnew real quick since everyone else is relatively in one good spot. Agnew is over by Brink and Black Scratch. Where are you at? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Are you still making it up north? It's funny because I gave him a run order to go all the way to the north. Oh, shit. I forgot all about Venge. Well, I'm glad I'm looking. Uh, all right. I'll tell you what. Wait, do skeletons get burned the same as humans do or other skin creatures? I have no idea. Let's try to get Beep inside, uh, Beep and Boop on a bed. And then I'll try to get the main group inside that library if there's no one to kill. And I'll probably honestly call it at that point. The Bugmaster was my goal for this episode, and the Bugmaster we did do. Alright, where's the bar at? Uh, you know it'd be really cool if they come out with Kenshi 2 and it has a snapping system? Oh. Like, a, where you're able to snap your building's... Um, to some sort of grid, I would be, I would be a happy camper for sure. All right, what's in this building? Oh shit, no one can get into it. What about strength? Who's strong? Someone's strong in here, right? We trained all of our strength forever, so someone should be strong enough to use their strength on the door. Isn't it the value of the door like times two or something? Seriously? Uh, that was like goalies was our strongest one here. Smash. I don't recall seeing an option for smash before. Can everyone smash? Oh, wow. <laughs> Fair enough. I guess we can all smash the door. Well, cool. We can feel like how the uh, the other folks always do. Let's keep an eye on Agnew while he runs just to make sure he doesn't start taking sudden damage. Who the hell just passed out? Oh, no. Dadu. Uh-oh. Uh, we need to get Dadu somewhere fast. I'll tell you what, let's have Tobol, who's the one of the faster groups? I think Tobol's been around for a long time, so let's grab Dadu. Let's pick him up. 
Um, Crotee's stable. So let's get Tobol to run and start running to Drifter's Last. I think maybe he should be able to run there before Dadu gets uh, in bad shape. What is it at? Negative thir is it negative 100 and he dies? Crap, crap, crap. I was paying too much attention to Beep and Boop, as always. Oh, what's in here? Hang on, I should actually go in and see if there's a freaking repair kit lying around. Oh, damn it, it's the, it's the, I forgot it's the library. It's literally the library. There's no, uh, there's no repair kits in the library as far as I can tell. Who's attacking us right now? Speebers? That's fine. We should be able to defend that. On the off chance that there's a repair kit, I'll check a couple of the storage things, but I don't believe that I've ever seen a, a storage kit, or sorry, a repair kit inside this building. All right, let's get everyone inside. Zill's just being difficult as always. Lol. And we'll see if we can't follow Tobal as he tries to rescue and save Dadu. I hate for Dadu to, to die for all the way out here. Oh, it's really bad to be honest with you. It's like it's like one per second. Crap. Um. There's really no one else that's fast, is there? What's your what's your athletics at? Negative nineteen because of your encumbrance. You are lightweight. Let's go ahead. You know what? Let's go ahead and sacrifice the armor. So Tobal's running it as fast as possible. Dadu is worth it, damn it. Oh, this is really ugly. I don't think... Oh, come on. Now is not the time to get fucked up on pathing, my friend. Well, that's super awkward. Dadu, I'm so sorry in advance if this is the episode where you croak. Due to due to poor uh, inventory management and remembering to bring repair kits, we're super far away from this. Beep and Boop are too injured too. They're they're our fastest ones, but unfortunately, I mean, I guess in this ruin maybe do we want to try that? There, there's no other option, is there really? Um, it really depends on what his kill point is. Like if it's if it's negative one hundred. It's going to be too fast, but if it's if it's anything else, the problem with the ruins is if it's if it's got a door on it, I don't think I'm going to be able to break it down. I didn't bring the rest of the squad with me either. Oh man. I'm really worried. Now, I I think I've seen people go below negative 100, but that's a oh, the head is a really dangerous spot. I don't think we're going to make it. I don't really don't think we're going to make it right now. Where's these ruins at? Can we res him? Can we turn him into a more of a robot? <laughs> Can we double up the robotness? Uh, where's the door? Can I open it? Shit! We're gonna have to hit sit here smashing the door. What are you doing? Get get down to the Oh my god, is it unreachable? Are you serious? Uh I'm giving god I'm giving Crote a run order instead of Tobal, for goodness sake. Get back there. Come on, you big dummy. Oh my god, 117. What the hell is his spot? What's his limit? <sighs> Are you kidding me? I should have brought the entire squad over here. Oh, uh, do I have tools? Do I have anything else? Oh, Dadu, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I will carry you for the rest. Don't repair it. Damn it. I guess I'm going to try to have everyone else run over here. And join him. We'll, gra we'll grab the archer squad as well. I don't think Dadu's going to make it that long. Son of a gun. Really no one else had a repair kit this entire time. That is a super huge bummer. I wonder if we just slowly use the repair kits we had and I just was not paying attention. Because everyone has... Um, everyone has a med kit. Oh, son of a bitch. Alice has tools. Well, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Alright, I guess we'll just have everyone run this way. I mean, god, it has to be like negative 200? What's the limit here? I mean, maybe. I don't know what's in the, what's in the library. Oh, this is another library, too. Uh, I think we would have been in better shape just going to the stupid um, the armory over here. I probably could have just kept running to Drifter's last and, and maybe made it by now. All right, we'll send uh, we'll send Tobal and Dadu this way. I don't think it's gonna work out for Dadu. 
But we'll, we'll just run them straight in. Because everything else requires... Either strength or a toolkit or, or what have you. Oh, man. Dadu the tank bot. It's going to be Dadu the dead bot, and I'm super bummed about that. I feel like we should be able to replace his head with a new Dadu head. A better Dadu head. Can't you, like, staunch the bleeding? Sta staunch the oil? Ah, son of a bitch. Dadu, I'm so sorry, buddy. I'm super, super sorry uh, to have you go out like this. A leaky... From a leaky head wound, of all things. Tubble's distraught. He's distraught. He's so distraught he's going to run around naked the rest of the episode. Oh, super bummer. Well, we did get uh, we did get the objective we wanted. Uh, he did, you know what? He died in defense of his allies in battle with the Bugmaster. That's what really matters. Wait, what? I know that face. From what? Holy shit! The Phoenix Slayer? <laughs> That's awesome. That's so cool. But yeah, I'm super sorry about that, Dadu. I'm, I'm bummed, and I'm uh, I, the only the only you know. Um, happy part to come of this is the fact that you were there for us and uh, helped us to defeat our enemies. Wait a minute, can I put people down in these beds or no? Okay, apparently beds don't work for us anymore. They're not aggroed us, are they? Uh, wings getting attacked, of course, because everyone is all super strong out here. Oh my god. Let's uh, let's see how good that cleaver does. Why don't we get wing to? Yeah, we're just gonna have to have him fight here because he's kind of stuck. He's in the water. Yes, in fact, he is. What a horrible spot. Oh, shit. I don't think we can defend ourselves in the water, can we? What a stupid thing. All right. Come on, Laura, why don't you pull back here? No, go Lee's fight. Laura, run. Tassilo, come help. Uh, let's get Hamut to come over here and help out. Wing will have you move up onto this little stand here. Is everyone else out of this pit of misery? No, good. Half the squad still way the hell up here for some reason. Okay. Let's have them do... Uh, can I select them yet? Yes. Let's have them stop here. Doc is getting attacked. Wing is getting attacked. Wonderful. Wonderful. I love that spiders can attack you in the, uh, in the water, but you can't attack them. Super fun. Motherfuck. Okay. <sighs> I guess we'll just keep trying to grind everyone over here in this spot. Oh, are you kidding me? Game. This is how people lose their minds. All right. We should be able to fight over here. Laura and Hamut are just going to hold up at that spot. All right. We should be okay now. A little bit of panic there. We'll get everyone together and we'll fight whoever needs to get uh, murdered. Protect the innocent, etc., etc. Be sad about Dadu. So yeah, Dadu, you were there for us, though. You did help us to defeat the Bugmaster. And that's, uh, you know, it's not unlikely to or unheard of to get some... Um, Injuries in the Bugmaster fight, so just bummed that we did not have a, a simple repair kit for you. Womp. Super sad. Alright, we'll pick up Laura and Hamut and try to get the hell over to the city without getting eaten alive anymore. If we could possibly do that. <laughs> we will bring Dadu's body home with us, I do promise to have a proper burial. Uh, we will Maybe we'll mount him to the wall and, <laughs> and he'll turn into a nice, uh, a nice art piece. Where's the rest of the squad at? Did you guys actually make it down somewhere? Oh well, hey, at least Tobel made it down eventually <laughs> to Drifter's Last. Alright, thank you all so much for joining me for this episode of Kenshi. Until next time, take care.